What's up, YouTube? It's Kenny again. Uh, coming out of Missouri, headed to Illinois to, uh, on the first load for this dedicated route I just started. I uh, want to talk about a stock today. Uh, ticker symbol is R-I-D-E. It's Lordstown Motors out of Ohio. Uh, first, before we start, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a truck driver driving across the country researching and trading stocks. And I will not be held responsible for any moves you make in the stock market. I'm not your mama. Do your own research. And also, hit that subscribe button, guys. Like the video. Help me build the channel. Leave me a comment. And let me know what you think about Lordstown Motors. So Lordstown Motors is an American EV company and they're going to make a pickup truck called the Endurance, okay? Now looking across the span of EV companies, we don't see much in the way of trucks, all right, like pickup trucks. You've got Rivian, but they're their truck is more like a Chevy Avalanche. It's got a really small bed uh, and it just, it, it doesn't strike me as a pickup truck, okay? It's more like a Chevy Avalanche, which by the way was not very popular. And then you've got Tesla Cybertruck, which it's got a bed, but you know, it's, it doesn't, also doesn't really strike me as a pickup truck, okay? Looks like a futuristic SUV or something. But Lordstown Motors, they're making a real pickup truck, okay? And I, I know that there's a lot of people out there who aren't into pickup trucks, but let me tell you, I'm from Texas, okay? And everybody drives a truck, all right? And it's interesting to me that this is really the only company that's competing for that pickup truck space, that a product that is an actual pickup truck that looks like a pickup truck that has a big bed that you can haul stuff in all right and i think that it's going to be a big market and you know like they're working with i, I believe the company's called e squared or something and, and uh jack spencer investing did an interview with that company talking about lordstown motors these guys have like a fourteen thousand truck pre-order with them and Lordstown Motors has about a hundred thousand pre-orders already now here's the thing they have like the one of the biggest factories in the United States for EVs okay they've already secured this factory it's an old it's a old General Motors facility that used to make Hummers and it also I believe made the Chevy Cruze which was the EV that GM tried their hand at that wasn't very popular, okay? And, you know, one of the selling points to me is that it's, number one, it's an American company, and I think that that while a lot of people are investing in stuff like Neo and Li and Xpeng, these companies in China or elsewhere, I think that with the Democrats taking control, it's the American sector that we kind of need to be focusing in on for these next couple of years especially, okay? Because there's going to be a lot of government things pushed on this clean energy front. And Lordstown Motors is in a great position to take advantage of that. And another thing is that when the GM factory there in Lordstown, Ohio, when it closed, a lot of people, it hurt a lot of people. You know, it, it employed a large portion of their population and you know how that goes. You know, they cl GM closes a plant, a bunch of people lose their jobs, and it's just a horrible situation. So not only, you know, are you investing in an American EV company, but you're also bringing jobs to that area, you know, to people who need it. So their truck, the Endurance, it's a four-wheel drive truck. It has independent motors on all four wheels, okay? So that's a big thing for people who drive pickups. I mean, I, I drive a GMC Yukon four-wheel drive. Uh, it's not necessarily a 
pickup. It's more like a suburban type of vehicle. But, you know, for a lot of pickup owners, 4x4 is a big deal, having a four-wheel drive truck. So, what I really like is that, like, all of these companies, like construction companies, I grew up working in construction, you know, I've been around that scene my whole life, you know, and those guys all drive pickup trucks, and we're talking about work trucks, you know, and this is a, a going to be like a work truck, okay, so you've got all of these cities and companies that supply their salesmen and their foremen and shit and stuff like that with trucks, with pickup trucks, and as we move more towards electrification, this Lordstown Motors truck is going to be popular, guys, and they, they're going to release the truck sometime at the end of this year, and, uh, you know, the 100,000 pre-orders should keep them busy all the way through the end of 2023. So, the pre-orders are a big deal, you know, and this company that Jack Spencer did, sorry about the beeping of my truck, but this, this uh, interview that Jack Spencer did, uh, these guys have supply fleets, and they have a, they have a 14,000 or 14,000 truck pre-order in with them, and they're going to supply these trucks to fleets, and that company also does a lot of other stuff like they'll come to your place and install chargers and micro grid and all that stuff so i don't know guys i just think that lordstown motors is going to be it's going to be big when they start putting out vehicles all right now the price is down i'm actually down in the stock right now but i just really think that when it does drop you know bubba and cletus and all the rednecks who uh, work for these companies that provide them with trucks are going to end up driving them and they're going to like them because they're powerful, you know, they're uh, four-wheel drive, they, they don't look too futuristic, they actually look like a pickup truck and, uh, you know, I think those are all things that are going to work to their advantage. And when you look at the costs listed on their investor relations page, you know, after uh, uh, owning it for a few years, it's actually cheaper than a Ford F-150, you know, and that's basically, while it kind of competes with the EVs, it more really is competing against like the Ford F-150 and the Chevy pickup trucks and stuff. And, you know, they've even got like a, a tow-off tug of war on wet grass with them, uh, where the, the Lordstown truck just uh, demolished the Ford. I don't really know the specifics of it beyond just seeing the video, but you know, I don't know if they're both four-wheel drive or what, what the the comparison was, but uh, the traction seems to be way better than the Ford, you know, and, and obviously electric vehicle is going to be faster, faster zero to 60, more powerful, and I just like, you know, you, I, it seems like the pickup truck sector is overlooked, like this Rivian truck and the Tesla truck like for somebody like me if I need to go buy some lumber I need to go buy some plywood I need to go buy some 2 by 4s you know some 12 footers or something I, I can't put that in that Rivian truck with that little 6 foot bed or whatever it is I can't put that definitely can't put that in that Tesla cyber truck so you know the, guy, the guys who like pickup trucks, who work on their own houses, want to fix the fence, want to do all this stuff where they're going to have to go to Home Depot and pick up some wood, pick up some concrete, some supplies, you know, they're going to want a pickup truck, not a Chevy Avalanche looking thing, not some futuristic spaceship. They're going to want a pickup truck. And as of now, Lordstown Motors is the only one that's going after that market. Okay, I, I think it's going to be a big thing, guys. I think that that it's going to be a big thing when they start releasing vehicles. Now, uh, uh, pickup trucks are a big deal. Okay, I know a lot of people don't drive them, but you know, in some areas, like pickup trucks are everywhere. It's a big deal. So, uh, Lordstown Motors is slated to start actually delivering the trucks in Q4 of 2021. So it could be a while before
before we get a big pop in the stock. Uh, it's not something that's just been running up and running up like these other companies, so it's not really all that exciting. And if you're expecting to get instant gains, this probably ain't the company. But I will say that they have been reached out to by the government, okay, the, the U.S. government has contacted them and reached out to them for some kind of a government loan program or something, okay, and they're in talks right now, they're like in the next stage of, of trying to get this loan, and if they do, if they do get this government funding, uh, they may be able to start kicking those trucks out a little sooner. Uh, it could be, you know, beginning of Q4 or maybe even end of Q3. But right now on their page, the uh, estimate is by the end of 2021. So, but, you know, I can see the possibility that if news comes out that they've gotten this funding, we could see a little bump. And if that accelerates their timeline, it could see a bump from that as well, as well as there could be uh, another large number of reorders. So there are potential catalysts with the company that could uh, get you some gains before the end of this year. But I just think that right now, like I said, uh, American EV companies have not been having these huge run-ups like the Chinese companies because they're not really producing vehicles yet. And I think that there is a lot of room for these to run this year. I mean, there, a lot of these companies are going to start putting out vehicles by the end of the year. And with all of the, the funding that's going into clean energy and all these green initiatives and stuff, uh, American EV companies could be where it's at, at least know six months from now and Lordstown Motors in my opinion is a good bet in that space uh, I think that that the pickup truck thing is going to be a big deal all right you're going to have cities and big companies that use a lot of pickup trucks uh, ordering this truck when it comes out so just wanted to talk about that uh, hit that subscribe button like the video if you like the video and uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about Lordstown Motors. Thanks for watching, guys.